This is Alin from Javelin, testing the functionality of the new enhancements introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2016. This year, I am very happy to notice a mini revolution for the sketch environment. For the first time in 10 releases, SOLIDWORKS adds a new relation. Let's exemplify that. I'm going to start the sketch and I will draw a line and another entity. Let's say an arc. Allow me to fix the center and one of the endpoints of the arc. I would like to drive the length of the arc now by uh, changing the, the length of the line. Something like that before could be done only with dimensions and equations or by very complex geometric manipulations. Right now, I can just select both of them and I can add the equal length for curves. Confused? Because before, for example, if I have another line, we used to have the equal relation, which does the same thing for lines. The problem with that was that in the past, SOLIDWORKS used to use the, the same relation, which, is what, which was equal, as a relation between the diameters of two arcs. So notice that this line is using the old equal relation with the other line. So obviously if I make this longer, the other one is going to be longer. But in order to work around the legacy relation functionality for the arcs, SOLIDWORKS had to introduce a completely new relation, equal length. It's a bit of confusion now because now the old relation is still applies the way it was, meaning that for arcs is just a diameter equality. And I have now the equal length. So if I want to make also these two arcs equal in length, I can do that. So now, as you can see, this drives all of them at the same time. Let's see what other entities can work with this relation. Well, let's try a bispline. And maybe I'm going to change its shape a little bit. Let me fix one of the points. And in order to make sure that the shape doesn't change, I'm going to define this spline as proportional. Let's see if I can apply the same equal curve length between the line and the spline. Let's see. So I just hit the first snag. I can change this length if I change the spline, as you can see. But for some reason, the end point of the line is shown as black. So the line is considered fully defined. So I'm going to say this is a little bit of a bug at this point. This should be actually free to flow. What other entities we have in SOLIDWORKS? Well, we have ellipses. Can I apply the equal relation, equal length relation? No. Here I have to use all kinds of workarounds to make sure that the length of the ellipse is equal to the length of the line. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are curious what is that technique I'm going to use. Well, it's all about using dimensions and that's about the path length dimension. Unfortunately for this, you need two entities. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to split this ellipse in two pieces. So now there are two entities, entity one and entity two. And then I can add a path length dimension for, for this too. And of course, in order to synchronize this with the length of the line, I have to add the dimension for the line. Let's say four. And of course, it's not going to work because of this spline. I'm just going to delete the spline because we know that that creates the problem. So now I can say this path length is going to be equal to this one. Now, obviously, this uh, technique was available also in SOLIDWORKS 2015 and 2014, pretty much from the release when uh, the path length uh, became available. So as you can see, this works. But this one, this one, it's really revolutionary. Let's see what other limitation if it has, if, if any. So I'm just going to extrude all these entities and uh, maybe on, actually only a couple of, of these entities. 
Let's extrude them out with a thickness of um, half an inch. Now if I create another sketch, let's do it on this face. And I'm drawing a line. And I'm drawing an arc. Can I apply that equal length relation in regards to edges? So if I select this edge and the line, I just have the old equal relation that we know it works. What about saying that this arc is equal with this edge? As you can see, that is missing. So looks like this functionality most likely is going to be added in, in future releases. There are some limitations at this time, but it is revolutionary and uh, can be used uh, in many applications. I'm going to come back with a couple of more videos to show the applications of this new uh, relation. For now, I'm going to give SOLIDWORKS an 8 out of 10 just because the relation is still not working in all possible situations. So I would like to include applying lengths, equal length relation to conics, to ellipses, to parabolas, and also equal lengths between the edge and uh, sketch entities. Thank you very much.